We're gonna film this next video if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> All right, how's it going guys? I'm Mr. Mill. I am your art teacher for Homestead Elementary. Now, uh, this video, its purpose is to go over a quick lesson overview of some things that we could or could not do, I don't know, of uh, during this uh, e-learning process. And this is gonna be for second and third grade. So over here, I have a second grade pile and a third grade pile. Now, it's not gonna be everything that we do because I have been pre-recording some uh, me reading some books and I wanna do some art lessons based on those books. But um, here's some a quick preview of some stuff that we've done in the past. So if you're in third grade, you might see some things that are familiar to you guys because uh, what we've done in second grade. So let's start that off. So shall we? Let's, yeah. <laughs> you want to sit like this, buddy? So you in the camera? <laughs> in the camera. Hold on. Focus. Hey. Okay. All right. You can just sit like this facing the camera. All right. <sighs> E-learning. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, this is going to be tie-dye chameleons. I normally teach your kids during second grade how to do a chameleon line and they learn how to do tie-dye using watercolor. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do watercolor with e-learning because uh, I'm not sure if everyone has the supplies to have watercolor. Uh, but um, i just make it, make it a video and uh, probably make it like a non-requirement so we'll go from there. Um, over here, oh, so this is really cool and important. Um, you guys probably know what this is if you guys are in third grade. Uh, no, this is the uh, Roy G. Biv, uh uh, tropical parrots. So I teach you guys how to draw parrots and the goal of this project is to um, Make a parrot using Roy G. Biv. If you guys don't know what Roy G. Biv is You guys will know soon enough and if you're in third grade, I hope you guys remember what Roy G. Biv is. So there's that. I think I have another parrot here Look at another version. Ta-da! Roy G. Biv, you like the parrot? You like the parrot? <laughs> Alright, moving on. Uh, this is based off of Dr. Seuss. Um, you can see the uh, the trees the looking familiar, familiar. Uh, the fishbowl looking familiar. Um, we might do this, we might not. I haven't decided yet. And um, now again, I'm gonna say this one more time. Uh, this, this isn't everything. If I took home everything from my art room, uh, I would have way too much stuff in here. And again, you guys gotta understand. I teach 600 plus kids. I don't have room in my house to have all the uh, art supplies here or art examples here. So that's it. So anyways, last but not least, you guys will love these. Um, these are um, bookmarks. So if you guys don't know what these are, uh, these are origami bookmarks. So here's the Hulk. Here's Charmander. Doop, doop, doop. Charmander. Nope. I don't want you to have that. Uh, here's Bulbasaur. Um, here is just a normal, I think it's just a normal cat. Ooh, you like that? And over here is Eevee. Eevee, Squirtle, there's a pig. Uh, and someone did this unicorn and they gave it to me. So thank you. Um, and then a big one. I normally, whenever I do this exam, I always do a big one so kids can see better from far away. So let's just put this safely away. Let's tuck it into this bigger one. You like these? Sure you do. You're gonna rip them up. <laughs> All right, there's that. All right, moving on to third grade. Third grade, so here's for the older kids on this video. Now, if you're from fourth or fifth grade or K through one, you can still watch this video. I don't see why not. So anyway, there's that. So um, let's start off with um, probably our first project of the year that we might do. Uh, and that's uh, this character counts uh, worksheet. Uh, it's, uh, it looks like this, by the way. Looks like this. So this is mine. And uh, this is a student from a couple years back. They didn't put a name on it, so it's mine now. And uh, as you can see, they're using certain words in here that pertains to us as homestead huskies. And uh, you guys should know what these well, words are by now. Uh, it's basically the six character pillars <laughs> along Okay, excuse you. Um, six character pillars along with other uh, words that promote uh, motivation, uh, good character, good citizenship, and stuff like that. So I uh, normally have this quick worksheet explaining what is required of you and how you can shorten or lengthen the words to make it sure it fits. Uh, you guys are all doing capital letters and... Did you just touch my phone? <laughs> and uh, other words that you can use such as kind, helpful, motivating. Um, I don't want to talk, talk too much about this because I'm basically teaching you the lesson at the moment. What is that? You okay? I'm still holding you. Do you want to say hi? All right, you want to say hi real quick? Okay, he's going to say hi. Hi! Oh. <laughs> His head's like... <laughs> His head. Hello! You drooly? Drooly, drooly. Oh. Yes, you are Mr. Mill too. So this is my mini-me. His name's Carter. Did I talk about this in another video? He was born in March, during the pandemic. And uh, I had my paternity leave. I started my paternity leave around, I think, March 3rd. And then I had Mrs. Fitzpatrick take over the art room for a little bit. And then I just never got to return because school went to lockdown. So 
Well, because of this kid. All right, let's move on. Uh, this is um, this is pretty cool. So um, there's two versions of this. Uh, this is one with stickers, so stick on uh, shapes. This is one with this drawn on shapes, and you kind of okay, okay. Are you okay, buddy? What's going on? Ugh. Dad's gotta do this video. Dad's gotta finish this video. Is it okay? Dad's gotta finish the video. Okay. So uh, you kind of do the shapes, and you kind of like ripple them with like a uh, contour lines. And then as you go out, uh, you just kind of keep going until you collide with another shape. And if you collide with another shape, you have to like go a different direction and it makes this cool type of a uh, textual element. That's kind of cool. And here's another one. This is not finished, but I teach you guys how to do three dimensional buildings. And you, uh, oh my gosh, you are a handful. I keep pushing off, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> okay. And then we use concentric circles in the sky uh, and then we make sure that we go behind the building so it looks more three-dimensional as well. So that's how we normally teach you three-dimensional buildings along with hot and cold because we normally do cold colors in the background and warm colors in the front or vice versa depending if you want it nighttime or daytime. So that'll be a cool video. <laughs> and uh, that's just a quick overview of a couple of the lessons. It's not everything, um, but a couple of lessons that we could be doing during this e-learning session. So there's that. And you are getting heavy, my friend. I'm gonna end the video there. So that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, I'll see you guys next one. And uh, which, which is by the way, four through five. So if you're not four through five, you don't have to watch it, but if you want to, go ahead. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Bye bye.